We're dedicating this episode to a friend of ours. We met her in Ohio a few years ago at the CWPPO. She's often described as beautiful, both inside and out. And her name in the detecting community was the Silver Queen. Unfortunately, her life was cut short. Betty, you will be missed. My prayers go out to you, your family, your friends, and your digging buddies. God bless. This week, on the Hoover Boys. Come here. This is so hard to do one-handed. Oh, 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 oh. Black silver? I think I got a black silver. I'm not a fan of traffic and I'm stuck deep in it right now. The plan today was for me and Bill to go to one of our permissions that's on the water because there used to be a landing there in the 1600s and give that site a try. But I'm getting billed by Bill. He's not answering his phone. I don't know what he did last night, but maybe he's still sleeping. I don't know. But I was starting to pack up my truck. I was like, I guess I gotta go over there by myself, but I don't like Keep it in the water by myself because there's always that threat of like a hungry bull shark and I don't want to experience a shark attack by myself so uh, I got a text from our buddy Mark and he said the tides are right down there and I'm welcome to come down so instead of beeping by myself I'm gonna go beep with Mark and hopefully we'll see Ron and Steve today if they get off of work we're gonna have some fun and save some history let's go well let's go after the traffic You got, a, you got a memorial? It is stinking hot today. It's 100 degrees out here. Um, our first little spot we wanted to check out. It's too sandy and mucky. But you see that? That's an arrowhead right there on the beach. A little flash of white quartz and I was like, huh. That's no doubt an arrowhead. The tip's broken off of it, but it's definitely worked. Definitely told. This has been the tip right here. Oh, another heartbreaking Native American artifact for me. I'll take it. We hit a couple new areas. Just trying them out. I think uh, Mark got a button or two. You got a silver thimble that's smashed. And I got like a four hole button and a really toasted Indian. We decided to come over to Gold Beach because it's dead low tide and we're going to see how deep in the water we can get. And uh, I already got a lead button and right here I got another button. It was like a 72 signal. Big old dandy button. Up to my chest right now. This is probably neck deep where Bill and I were last week. So if I get neck deep now, hopefully there's some more coins out there. But that's awesome. Nice piece of colonial history right there. This is not an easy target to retrieve, but I got it. All I knew was it was a screaming high tone, and uh, I had to bob up and down to hit the sand scoop into the ground. Uh, and my face was going under the water, but I got it. Let's see what it beeps out of the hole. It's a dead 77. I have not looked at it yet. If it's a big coin, I probably need my pinpointer. Oh. Is it silver? Is that a two reals? I think it's a black silver. No. It's a black copper. That's weird. No, it is. It is a two reals. Is it? It's gotta be. Awesome. Oh my god. I think it's uh it's a different looking one. It might be one that was made in Spain. You can see the silver coming through right here. It's all caked up with the black stuff. Holy Toledo. Oh my God. I wonder if I can rub some of this black off. Yep, see the crust coming off of it? That is so cool. You can't make that up, people. The black crust is coming off of it. See, see a bust on there. 
I would think the date would be underneath the bust here. You gotta get the black crust off. Let me work on this coin a little bit. See if I can figure out what what it is. Actually, I think it's a King Charles the Fourth. I see one, two, three, four there. Let me get this black card off, and we'll we'll come back. That is incredible. <laughs> Another two reals. Wow. We just had a boat go by, so I'm a little shaky. The waves are bobbing me up and down. It is a King Charles the Fourth, and it's 180 something. I can't really tell because I don't have my loop. I think it's 1807 or 3, I can't tell. But the cool thing is, the reverse is different. Now, it doesn't have like the, the pillars on it. That's because this one was minted over in Spain and not in like South America. But you can see the two over here for two reals. That is insane. I Actually, this is my first real that I've found that is minted over in Spain. Oh, never mind, because I found that cut. But, uh... That's awesome. There's got to be more out here. Big old Spanish silver. Yeah, buddy. I was just hoping for a big copper. <laughs> I'll take a big Spanish silver. Alright, your turn, buddy. Yeah. That's awesome. You see that? This is how I lifted my scoop out of the water. It looks like a big coin hanging on the outside of my scoop. So that's why I love this scoop. It's got all this area too here. If you go over top of your target, that's how it came out, just like that. Oh, it's a button. I can feel the shank. <laughs> Still way cool. Any design? Oh yeah. Got a little basket weave design. Alrighty, there's still stuff here at Gold Beach. Yes, sir. You got it? Yeah, it's in there. Mark's up to his neck. I gave him an extra pair of the waterproof headphones, so he's getting his box wet today. He said he had 84 signal. You got it in your thing now? Is it still 84? Uh, you haven't looked at it yet, top. have you? 82 up top? Yeah. Let's see if I can see it in the water behind you. You don't see anything yet. Come on. Cut silver. Oh, there it is, right there. Big copper. <laughs> Oh, that's so much fun. Oh. Nope. Trying to angle it. Smoothie. Yeah, it's looking kind of smooth. Looks like a smoothie. Maybe a little finger wipe. Go for it. I feel like I almost see something there. Well, hopefully we'll figure it out later. Right now, I'm going to call that a smoothie spreads, but... <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thanks. Oh, here, you want to film it in your hands? My hands are all wrinkly. <laughs> I'm sure mine are all wrinkly, too. <laughs> I just got a little shankless flat button. little convex. Oh, my God. You know what that is? Uh-uh. It's a heart pen. It's a thumb sort. I, uh, yeah, and I can tell you right now, I, I believe it's silver. Yeah. This is 1700 silver heart pin. I forget what they're called. I don't want to lose your pin. <laughs> oh my god. I'll put up the information of it on the sides. That is an incredible find, man. I'm pretty sure that's silver. Yeah. I forget the name of the makers, but uh, he was a famous silver smith in the 1700s. He made these heart pins. That's awesome. Uh, you win. You win that round, buddy. <laughs> yeah, be careful with that. I don't want that pin to fall off. That's incredible. Good job. So 81, 82, I guess. Yeah, Mark's got a coin signal. We're going to live dig him. 80, 81. Yeah, one scoop. Come on. One scoop, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. That's got a little tiny button. Come on. Come on. The moment of truth. Missed it. Missed it. This, I mean, we're not that deep here. You can probably go on with your probe. Depends on what you want to get. That's fun, too. Going down and beeping it and fingering it. You can feel it. It's like, oh, it's a coin. I'm getting it on this one. I like the way you think. <laughs> It helps to visualize in it falling into the scoop. <laughs> Hell yeah.
This is reminding me of that seeded dime from a couple of weeks ago. Hey, I, if, if you want me to go into the water with my pin pointer, it's your coin. I, I do not want it. Huh. I'm just trying to help you out, buddy. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's all the pressure. <laughs> There's no pressure. This, this, this is going to be a, a team effort. That's, no it'll pressure. be your coin. Uh, diver's going in for me. He's going to let me go for it, so... Digging up my copper. Well, all I did was pull it off the bottom. You, you found a signal. Be something on it. Oh, it's a large scent. Nice. One yeah. scent. Yeah, I think it's going to be a matron copper. or a classic head. I think it's going to be a classic head. It looks like it's looking left. I don't know. Why is the face so worn? <laughs> the back's pretty. There it is. Awesome. Well, there you go. Thank you. Another copper for you, buddy. Right on. That was fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And refreshing. Well, I got a 76 signal right here. Dig this up and see what it is. I'm hoping a big copper. Alright. I think I got it. I better have it. This is a holly tree right here. It keeps poking me in the arm. And it hurts. Let's see. Yeah, that's in there. Okay. Now the fun part. What is it? Oh, don't want to beat that. Oh, there's a buckle. Oh, I think it's a knee buckle. Right there. Let me grab it out. Yeah, it's a knee buckle. Awesome. I found one like this last time we were here. That is too cool. I'd like to find one that is complete and still operational. Maybe one day. Nice piece of colonial history. I'm all pruny. Oh, no. Oh, well, you don't know until you get it out of the ground. Mark's working on a big high tone, but sometimes the big high tones turn into coins. It's weird, but I just got out a 79 signal. I'm hoping for a coin. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Come on. Should I go looking for it? I'm going to have to go looking for it. I don't know if that's a good sign or not. Maybe it's a silver and it's black and I can't see it. It's getting dark. Right in the middle. Come here. This is so hard to do one-handed. Oh, 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 oh. Black silver? I think I got a black silver. I think I got a silver. Really? I do. Uh, I think it's a one real. It is. It's a one real. <laughs> oh, I was beeping the signal. I was telling Mark, I was like, this sounds like a little silver. This is so pure. It's a 1700s thing. It's a King Charles the third. Oh, that's going to clean up beautiful. I'm going to stop rubbing it. 17. Let's zoom in. Oh, it won't let me zoom in for some reason. Oh well. 1787 maybe? <sighs> wow, a one real and a two real today. We're just working back to the boat. Oh, that's beautiful. Freaking Spanish silver is incredible on this river. The boat's right there. <laughs> We're just working back to the boat because the sun is gone. <laughs> Another Spanish out of the river. This place is incredible. It's so humbling. Besides all the snakes and weird things swimming by you. Did you get it? No. <laughs> He's still working on it. I have no words. It's a damn property marker or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, property, property marker. Mark's still working on that signal. I was going to go back over there and help him, but I had like a 50, 60, there was a 63 signal here. And this is something you don't see every day. It's something that's rarely seen, except in museums. I got some water on my screen. 
Let's oh, see if I, I can. See it, from here. That's cool. it is cool. Get off of there, water. It's a smoking pipe, but it's metal. It's like lead pewter. I don't want to break it out here. And it's the whole thing complete. I found a bowl of one of these up in New England. It was about this much of the bowl, but that's complete. Imagine smoking your tobacco or your wacky tobacco out of lead pewter. It was bad enough they made spoons and forks and ate off of them, but they actually breathe fire through them. That's some history. Yeah. It's dark. We're getting out of here. Mark left his signal over here. There. I went over, beeped it. It sounded so good. I ended up getting it out after about 10 attempts. He had a really deep hole. But he came over here with a boat where I was working, and he just found a coin. So we're going to figure out what these are. All right. So. What is that thing? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, looks like that French coin, which... Remember, uh... I'm waiting for my camera to focus. I don't want to focus because it's getting dark. I think this is one of those coppers, like, round flying. He found one of these up in the field. I forget what it was. Uh, the Voce? Yeah, the Voce thing. There was a, yeah, but his was a... The Voce was the same size as a large set. This is a cool-looking copper, man. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll look it up and figure it out in the wrap up. But why don't you take your probe and probe around in here? Because I got your signal out and it's an 86. It might be a big silver. Fairly tight. It's a big weight, maybe? There it is. Is it a breastplate or something? Nope. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> ba, 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 <laughs> Absolutely. So while I was digging this out, you came over there and found this. So I think you won. <laughs> awesome. Congrats. Thanks. You got all the coppers today. I got the silvers. Right on. All right, let's get out of here. It was way easier getting over to that beach with a boat. But the boat ride back to the launch, I had a million bugs hit me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and they're full in, they're in your garage now too. <laughs> we cut a lot of mosquitoes with our face. This is what's going on right here. There's all the non-desirables out of the river. A bunch of fishing sinkers and shotgun shells. There's the board. Got a hunk of Native American. Piece of shoe buckle frame. There's the knee buckle. You got a bunch of buttons, Tom Back, Sled Pewter. This one's cool. It's a four hole. And then uh, we got the lead pewter smoking pipe. From what I understand, these things are ultra rare. And to pull a complete one out is amazing. Believe it or not, that is an Indian. It is. I saw it on there. I got on the two Spanish focus camera. The 1787 one real. And this ended up being an 1804 two reals the back of that thing is phenomenal with that thing that side up mark got on that beautiful lock plate bunch of buttons hunk of shoe buckle frame saddle shield there's the silver thimble we didn't get that on film and that's the uh the colonial silver brooch that thing's amazing Second one of them I've ever seen come out of the ground. You got a white copper. You got all the coppers. This is a classic head, large scent. And here's this thing. What's this thing? Here's Ron's, the one he found. It looks like 1700, but it's 1760. It's a. Uh, yeah, here it is. It's an Ireland token thingy. They're pretty rare. The only two that we've ever seen. They only made them one year, huh? Well, they have one that says 1700, but there's a, an error coin. It's supposed to say 1760. But that's what it is. Let's show the obverse of that real quick. This is beautiful. Really cool looking bust on there. Yeah. Good job. It's great to see that thing come out of the water. I'm tired and still wet. Until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take your trash with you. You wanna say it? You wanna say it? Em? Why? All rivers matter. All whole rivers matter? <laughs> <laughs>